Hi, I'm Nick LaRose, and uh, I'm here with Mar Ray Moreno. Moreno, Moreno, Moreno. Passing out these bad boys. We're done for the day. I'm gonna show you what old Ray looks like. Hello, roasting. Texting Brother Wyatt. Yeah, me and Ray are the ultimate uh, outreach team. Every time we do one of these, we always end up being teamed up. I don't know why, we don't get along. You know, and what crosses my mind is, Maybe worth the reason nobody comes to the church. <laughs> so let's give you a little breakdown of what happened. Pastor Rob Wide was running late. That's kind of normal. But uh, he used to go to Mustang, you know. Yeah, Mustang tends to run late to a lot of things. But here's what's interesting, guys. Is uh, even after we waited for uh, Brother White, I was like, hey, Ray, I'm, I'm hungry. Have you ate? Yeah, tell him what you said. I had a bean burrito from 7-Eleven, 99 cents, and it was Philly. And so uh, I said, well, let's go get something to eat. I mean, we're already 30 minutes before we started leaving because we're supposed to meet there at 9.30 and start passing out these flyers. So me and Ray, <laughs> we waited for about 30 minutes for Brother Ryan. Is that true? How'd that? That's what all the global warming stuff is about that you're going to see later on. <laughs> That's just a product of me global getting bored. Global warming. And uh, I feel like a snow cone melting in the 4th of July. But besides that, so me and Ray, we're passing out these flyers. Or no, before that, we go to Carl's Jr.'s. Big mistake. If you're already running late, don't go to Carl's Jr.'s. Because not only did we wait 30 minutes with Brother Wyatt, but we also waited... 30 minutes. 30 minutes for your food. <laughs> That's right. And on top of that, they didn't have it ready, what I was wanting, so I had to get something else. I'm driving. He's driving. So anyway, that's pretty much the, the rundown. About 10.30, <laughs> we get started. Well, Ray's got to be somewhere, so we, we only did this for about 30 minutes. But, uh, you know, it's, it's all about what we did do and you didn't. So it doesn't... <laughs> So don't judge us, we're only going for 30 minutes, okay? <laughs> it's a Saturday morning, and we're passing out flyers. Hot, 87 degrees. It's 87 degrees outside. I'm melting. He's you melting. know how many years it took me to get this fat? And it's melting. It's melting. It didn't take me <laughs> to get fat, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we're going to get off here, you know, cutting off at 11. But it was it's very productive. We passed out at least uh, you know hundred, I'm sure. So we gotta go. Oh, what are you doing? Did you find a hot chick? No, I think it was Brother White. Oh, that's the only time I stop is when I see a hot chick, not Brother White. <laughs> that's a little weird, Ray. Right? You got something you want to talk about on this? No. Okay, so uh, hey, don't go to the Bora Bora Club. We understand that Brother White told us that they, Steve told him it was a gay club. But they have tequila Tuesday, so if you're into tequila gays, go have gay tequila. <laughs> have a jolly good time. <laughs>
and melt stuff. Where are the polar bears? They they died in the ice caps. In? That's that's bad. Yeah, they got frozen. I swear. Wait, hey, wait minute, they got one more thing. Yeah. One more thing. What? This is global warming. This is global warming. You can't get the AC. The AC pollutes the ozone. I love you. You should probably just. Uh, Ask Mr. Al Gore, he'd probably know. I'm gonna ask Brother Y because he knows everything. What he thinks about global he's the, warming. He's the Oracle. Where'd you get your shirt? What do you think of global warming? This isn't about me, this is about global oh, warming. I was talking about your shirt. Yeah, but we're talking, we're talking about global warming. What do you think about that? I'm not being on your video. And I'm Facebook. You will be on Facebook. Well, Tony, what do you think about global warming? It's a hot topic. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Um. Well, melt, melt the ice caps and flood us out. That's right. Uh, that's what I'm afraid of. Um, no, no. I actually, stopped driving actually, my car. Actually, uh, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty sure I have faith that uh, the second coming is going to happen before that happens to us. Right. I'm not even worried about it. I drive a bike. I'm doing my part. I'm going green. See, look, there's my bike right there. The white car. Oh. That's, that's a pollutant machine. Why? <laughs> <laughs> don't look like I ride. Don't look like I drive a bike. I was about to say, I might, I might as well get in a tower. Even the fact I just got finished riding uh, uh, overhauls this morning. So why are we so excited? I got good news. Last time I went and passed out flyers and did some sort of outreach, Ray Marino was here. And look, he's here again. It's like he's a veteran with me. We're waiting on Rob Wyatt. Because Rob Wyatt got stuck in traffic. How does this make you feel? Uh, loud. Wonderful. The wind's blowing. I have talent. I can drive through traffic. The Lord's blessed me. May he bless Brother Wyatt. <laughs> That's right. Amen. And then whatever. What do you think about this uh, warming? I mean, we're out here in a polar ice cap. <laughs> Uh, get that off.